Welcome to Sunday Problem Solving Challenge. Every week Sunday, we have been consistently discussing some challenging questions for our competitive exams. Today, we shall start our session with a brain teasing puzzle. So a seven digit number comprises of only twos and threes. How many of these are multiples of 12? So this question is based on combinatorics, right? If you want to try this problem, you can pause this video for some time. And if you get the answer, don't forget to put your answers in comment. Now, what is the question about? You have a seven digit number and the seven digit numbers would contain only two as well as three. And these numbers would be only multiples of 12. Now, if a number need to be multiple of 12, the same number should be divisible by three as well as four, right? For example, if you take the number 24, is this number 24 divisible by 12? Yes. Is it a multiple of 12? Yes, because 12 into two, you get 24. And this 24 is also divisible by 12. Now, if a number need to be divisible by 12, the same number must be divisible by 3 as well as 4. Because 12 is a multiple of 3 and 4, right? So 12 is 3 into 4, you get 12. Right? Now, if you ask this number 24 is divisible by 3, yes. If the number uh, 4 is divisible by, uh, I mean 24 is divisible by 4, yes, it is also divisible by 24. Then the same number 24 is divisible by 12 also. Right? So how to check a number is divisible by 12? The number should be divisible by 3 as well as 4. Now we have to understand the divisibility criteria of number 3 as well as 4. Now how can you check a number is divisible by 3? Let's take this example. Is this number 20202? It is what? 20202. Is this number divisible by 3? Yes, it is divisible by 3. Because 2 plus 0 plus 2 plus 0 plus 2. So what's the sum? The sum is 6, right? This sum 6 is divisible by 3. So this number 20202 is divisible by 3. Now how to check a number is divisible by 3? You have to add all the digits. If the sum is divisible by 3, then the given number is also divisible by 3. Similarly, we have a divisibility criteria for number 4. What is that? Now let's take this quest, this number. So it is 202048. Uh, so it's very simple by looking uh, the number we can tell it is divisible by 4 but there is a divisibility criteria for number 4. Now you have to check only the last two digits. So what is the last two digits of 48? I mean uh, 202048 it is 48. So the last two digits is 48 right. So this number 48 is divisible by 4. Then this complete series the complete number 202048 is divisible by 4 right. Now is this number 202022 divisible by 4? No. It is not divisible by 4 because 0 to is not divisible by 4, right? So the complete series 20202 is also not divisible by 4. So this is the divisibility criteria of number 3 as well as 4. We are going to use the same technique in this question also. Now it's a 7 digit number, right? So if the 7 digit number comprises of 2 and 3, it's a 6 digit, okay. If a 7 digit number comprises only of 2 and 3, we have to check the divisibility criteria of number 3 and 4. Then only we can see whether the number is divisible by 12 or not. Now, what can be the last two digits for making the number divisible by 4? So you have only number 2 and 3, right? So by fixing the number 2 and 3 in last place, we can make the number divisible by what? 4. So you can't fix 2 and 2 because 22 is not divisible by 4. You can't fix 3 and 3 because 33 is also not divisible by 4. You can't fix 23. This is also not divisible by 4. But you can fix 32 because 32 is divisible by 4. Now we can fix the last two digits 32, right? So we, we don't want to make any changes. The last two digit is 32 only. Next, we have to play with the remaining digits. So remaining we have 5 dash. Now we have to fix the digits here. Okay. Now, can we put everything as 3 here? So if you put every numbers as 3 here, is this numbers divisible by 3? See, you totally have how many 3s? 6 3s and 1 2. Now, 6 3s plus 1 2 gives you 20. Is 20 divisible by 3? No. So we can't accommodate 3 in the first 5 places. Now, can we put 1, uh, I mean, 1, 3 and 4 2's in this 5 dash. So if you put 1, 3 and 4 dash, now what is the total sum? So you totally have 3 2's, right? I mean, uh, 2 3's, right? Because already you have 1, 3 at last. 
and you put one three in first. So it is two threes, so you get six. So and the five twos you have, so it is five twos are ten plus uh, two uh, two threes are six. So you get the sum sixteen. So sixteen is also not divisible by three. So can we put two threes and three twos? So you totally have how many threes now? Three threes. So it is nine. Nine plus uh, you have four twos. Eight. You get seventeen. So the sum is not divisible by three. Now can we put three threes? Right. So if you put three threes. So you totally have how many threes? One, two, three, four threes. So it is twelve, and you have three twos. Twelve plus six, eighteen. Now eighteen is divisible by three, right? Yes. So eighteen is divisible by three, and if you fix the last two digits as thirty-two, that is divisible by four. So this combination works. So what is the combination? Three, 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 two, two, three, two. So here the last two digits are fixed. Now, can we fix four threes, right? So if you fix four threes here, and one two, do you think it will work? So you totally have how many threes? Five threes. So five threes are fifteen, and you have two twos. So plus four, you get the sum nineteen. So nineteen is not divisible by what? Three. So this combination is not going to work. Now let's take. Uh, Everything has two, right? You totally have how many twos now? So it's one, two, three, four, five, and you have two at last also. So you totally have six twos and one threes. So if you add it, you get fifteen. So this combination is going to work, right? So we can fix two, 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 and the last two digits are thirty-two. It is fixed, right? Now you can't make any combination in. The first number that is two 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 three two, but you can make a combination with the second option, right? That is three 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 two two three two. Now here the last two digits is fixed. Now if you take the first five digits, the numbers can shuffle, so you can rearrange the numbers. So it's very simple. It is a permutation combination, right? So it's a permutation concept. So you want to permute the first five digits. So how to permute it? So you totally have five digits, right? So it is one, two, three, four, five. So you totally have five digits. So these five numbers can be arranged in five factorial ways. And if you take these five numbers, you have three numbers. I mean, the number three repeated for three times. So you want to divide it. So it is divided by three factorial. And the number two repeated for how many times? It is two times, right? So you have to divide it by two factorial. Now what is five factorial? One hundred and twenty. And the three factorial value. Three into two into one six, and a two factorial value two into one two. So if you cancel this, you get ten. That means you have ten numbers, right? So you have ten numbers with four threes, uh, I mean three threes and uh, two twos, with end ending with thirty two. So which gives the multiples of twelve, and you have only one number ending with thirty two, and rest of the numbers as two in the first five places. That is also divisible by twelve. So totally, you have how many such combinations? You totally have eleven combinations, right? So what is the answer for this question? It is eleven. See, the question is very simple, right? So you have to practice this kind of questions a lot to solve brain teasing questions in your competitive exams. So stay connected to get more questions like this. And if you feel this is helpful for you, give a like. And if you feel this is going to be helpful for someone, share it to your friends. Thank you so much. Have a great day.